Well, good afternoon, everyone. Michael Soothing here. It's not evening this time, it's afternoon. And once again, I forgot to put something in my, in my hat, so before we continue, I'll put this piece of jasper that I found down at San Simeon into my hat band. Okay, there, that's better. Now I don't feel so naked. The topic of today's video is our two-year wedding anniversary. I'm just going to show you what we made for each other, gifts that we gave each other, and talk about two years of happily wedded bliss since we went to Las Vegas um, September before last. Has it always been a happily wedded bliss? Well, the first year was a bit more rocky. Uh, there were more conflicts and issues. I think the that's typical for marriage. You have to get to know each other and each other's quirks and annoyances and learn to communicate better and better, which I think we achieved that goal. Need a bit of water. A voice getting a little bit scratchy. And so, the second year has definitely been an improvement over the first. And of course, we love each other and have a great relationship overall. So the second year wedding anniversary is called the cotton anniversary. I think the first year is paper, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't know what the third year is, but interestingly, Maria, Joanne's daughter, who's currently residing in the Philippines, she made us a wedding anniversary gift a few months ago and hid it away in the closet for us to find on anniversary. So she says, happy second cotton anniversary. See there? And that's cotton candy. I had to figure that out and tell Joanne. She didn't know it was cotton candy till I explained it to her. She just thought it was a happy pink color or something. But um, she was surprised that this time I was the one who was less aspy. So that was nice. And then Maria made us this wreath that has cotton all over it. It's too big to show you. I could frame my head in it like this. And uh, then maybe you can see it. But anyway, she made this, which was pretty cool. And um, yeah, all my kids are very creative, I notice. Even those to whom I didn't contribute DNA. But um, then Joanne and I, well, Maria wrote us a nice note too. A very nice note about how she appreciates our example of what love is because she hasn't really been able to see too many relationships up close, adult relationships. I won't read you the whole note, but she says, I'm lucky to have amazing parents. You both show me all the time how people who are in love should treat one another. That made me really happy when she said, she puts a little heart to dot the I's and cross the T's, as you can see. So I like that. So she wrote this very nice, very nice note to us. And then what I gave to Joanne, well, first I'll show you what she gave to me. She gave me a nice card right here. I'm not going to read you 
the contents of our cards to each other, because that's private. It could contain something in it that we don't want to share, but you can just use your imagination, I guess. So she made me this nice, or gave me this nice card, and I gave her a card also, and uh, wrote some things in it also. So, cards. Then Joanne got me, made me, actually. She had this cutting board that Maria had gave, given her out of a Filipino wood. It's got a nice wood grain, as you can see on the back. I don't know the type, but it's one of those tropical hardwoods, you know. And so she attached all of these white rocks, because she knows I like geology, and made it into a candle holder by using a shell that we found on the beach. I'll show you the bottom there without spilling the candle. This one is an artificial candle, but it's still, you know, it's nice to have it. The artificials are good for this kind of candle holder where you might risk it falling somehow and you don't want to start a fire or anything like that. And Joanne also got me, by the way, tell me if you have a good relationship with your significant other and whether it got better after a year or two years or five years or ten years things like that so joanne and i now this will be the final relationship of my life this marriage because we're good together we share a lot of the same goals and object objectives. We are in love and we, um, we understand each other's quirks because we both have some tendencies toward Asperger syndrome, but not severe. Uh, we're both kind of OCD about certain things like cleanliness, although Joanne is far more OCD about it than I am. I thought I was a germophobe until I was with someone who has hand sanitizer bottles by the dozens in purses and bags and on every available surface of every counter in the house and things like that. Um, if she goes to the bathroom She'll spend an hour cleaning the entire bathroom as a note. But maybe I'll save all that for a video about OCD. What do you think? I could do a whole video on that. I'm kind of OCD myself in a couple areas. And so I could talk about spousal OCD and how to... Um, how to help each other with it, how to be tolerant and also appreciate the good things about OCD, which, by the way, there are benefits to OCD. For example, in the case of Joanne, though she might drive me a little bit crazy now and then with the uh, cleanliness germ thing, to, always wiping me off if I, you know, even eat something, she'll, she'll wipe my arms or something with, with, you know, hand sanitizer. But the thing is, what would you rather have? A dirty partner or a super, super clean partner? I mean, she's, uh, I have never detected anything like a bad scent coming from her. She's so clean and it's 
it's really nice, you know. And our house is very, very clean, and she likes to clean. So how could any husband ever complain about that, right? She would tell you I do complain now and then, but which I do, but when I think about it, that's nuts because it's so nice to have a clean house. So anyway, you can't, if you walk on the floor, like if someone comes to the door and walks 10 steps into the room with their shoes on, we have a hard floor, then um, she's gonna clean the entire living room floor right away to get rid of that contamination, right? So anyway, I'll do a different video on that, but we have great uh, love and affection for each other. And this is a nice time to celebrate. So we went up the coast and I got her some goodies at the Asian store because she misses the foods that she buys in the Philippines. So she was able to get some authentic pansit and things like that. Sorry if my voice is just a little scratchy. I'm getting over a bit of a virus. I've been getting viruses far too easily on this medicine, which depresses the immune system. So I have to be careful. Where were we? Oh yeah. So we've been going to church together where I always pick up a virus. We weren't doing that our first year. We've been, we've taken lots of trips together all over the place. We've gone up to Seattle twice, um, and made little va mini vacations out of that. Or is it three times? Anyway, went up in the Space Needle and things like that. We went to Vancouver Island, Victoria, British Columbia and really enjoyed that. I know I have subbies in Canada. I love the country. I've been in the eastern part also, around Toronto, and in some of the other provinces when I was younger. Uh, we went down to, Joanne and I went to Southern California. We've been to Nevada. We went down to the central California coast to do agate hunting and a wildflower thing and all kinds of stuff. We've gone to Portland and taken trips ranging up and down the coast. The Redwood Empire, Klamath, California, all that kind of thing. So in two years time, I'd say we've taken probably at least 10 trips of various lengths. Not really long vacations, but, you know, good ones. What did Joanne, okay, so Joanne also got me this to put on my car because my Christian faith is important to me there's two reasons she got me this. One is my Christian faith is important to me, but the other is I have a terrible tendency towards road rage, okay? Not really road rage, but aggressive driving. It comes from my time commuting in California and driving all over the country when I was traveling a lot and working. My patience with other drivers on a scale of 1 to 10 is around a 1.5 and so she figured if I had this on the back of my car uh, I would not be able to ever use any crazy 
hand gestures or screaming, right? Not that I ever have. I don't get that carried away, but you know. Let me show you what I made Joanne now. Did I show you? Yeah, I showed you what she made me. So I got her this bag right here. Put some, put this fancy colored bow on it. And I put her favorite candy bar in it, a white chocolate Twix bar. And, I mean, she has high-end candy she likes better, but we don't get traditional gifts for each other for things like anniversary because Joanne is not an appreciator, she will tell you herself, of most of the girly gift type stuff that most women like. Makes it hard to buy for her. She doesn't want perfume of any kind, not even high end, you know, uh, $300 for a tiny bottle perfume doesn't want. She doesn't want cosmetics of any kind. She doesn't want any artifacts for the house. Uh, no little statuaries or fancy little glass boxes or jewelry boxes. Nothing like that. No music box. She doesn't want jewelries of any kind, really. She doesn't like to wear it because her skin is hypersensitive, so it just kind of bothers her to wear jewelry. She doesn't want flowers or candy for romantic occasions. So in some ways, this all kind of lets me off the hook for the traditional stuff, but in other ways, it makes it a bit hard to figure out what to buy her. More than a bit hard, I would say. She will tell you, she's not so much of a girly girl when it comes to those kinds of things. So what I did was I got together a bunch of what she really likes is for something to be thoughtful, different, and especially if it's handmade. She loves that. Doesn't matter how ugly it is or <laughs> if it's a bad, if it's handmade and you took the time and effort to be creative and put in the hours, then she will love it. So what I did was I got a bunch of agates together that she and I found on the beach, carnelian and otherwise. And then I got also some little glass circles, don't even know what you call them. And I made her this candle holder. So I made a heart out of the red glass beads, as you can see, heart. And here's a nice big carnelian agate right in the middle of that. And then the whole thing is covered in agates um, that we found, some of which I tumbled to polish them and some just in their raw natural form. The only one on here that I didn't find on the beach was this piece of amethyst here, but I did tumble it. I got it in some raw rock before that I had bought, so. But everything else is natural, even this rose quartz. Found that on the beach. And you can see some carnelians. This is a naturally smooth stone. I didn't even tumble, but it's nice. And, um, yeah, when you get it back further, it's a little easier to appreciate. This was my lame attempt, first attempt at a heart on this side, but I couldn't get the spacing correct. 
so I had to redo on the other side a heart that worked better, okay? And uh, let's see, Joanne wanted me to show you, she found an agate that was somewhat in the shape of a heart. There it is. If I hold it up closer, you can see the shape a little bit. So I put that one on here because she was so proud of that agate. So this is what I made her, and I think she really likes it. So I'm going to show you what they look like in the dark and let her hold them while we do it. And she can show you what she made me also. Hold on. So tell us what you got there for anniversary and what I got. Hi guys, Michael made me this for our second anniversary and he put a gates, he glue gummed a gates and some glass around this glass. See? Can you see? And we had the same thought in mind. I also made him a a candle holder. Isn't that the, a weird coincidence? We didn't know, did we, what we were making each other? No. Uh, the wood is from Maria. It's a cutting board. And what I did was to buy stones from Dollar Tree. And this shell Michael cut from the beach. I'm not sure. And then this one is from Dollar Tree. Uh, and then I'm going to show them how it looks in the dark. Hold on one second. This is kind of appropriate since it's soon Halloween. to be Halloween. Yes. So we have this candle here. Yeah. It's for the wall. And if you do the same thing, don't use a live candle or that can be dangerous. <laughs> We have a live in this one. Hold this one up for a second. The agates know oh. what we can see from the outside. There we go. Oh, uh, you should show there's a heart. heart. There's a heart here, guys. It's kind of hard to see with this kind of light. But there's a red heart. You can show it, babe, and when we have the light on. The rest is agates. So anyway, now we have, if we need a quiet romantic atmosphere which you do need around your anniversary <laughs> then we have two candles we can use you should show them big uh, the agate that looks like uh, the one i found on the it's beach here that looks like a heart it's there but i'll show them i'll show them up close it's a heart shape she found that agate there are many all the agates on this we found. I, I found another one with yeah. juicy crystals that yeah. is also shaped as a, a, a heart. Yeah, so, all right, that, that will conclude our light out segment of this <laughs> video. So, there you have it, anniversary gifts that we took some time to make makes it more meaningful than just buying something on Amazon, right? Although I hope she doesn't expect another handmade gift for every occasion. I enjoy being creative and making things, so I will do it in the future. But you know, like Christmas and stuff, you, know, you can't spend all your time making gifts, right? But I will make her other things down the road if I should live so long. So that's it everyone. I hope this video is a bit relaxing to you and if so please give it a thumbs up. You can go to Joanne's channel and I think she did something on this theme also. Scorpio and YT and if I remember I'll put a link at the bottom and uh, otherwise uh, please subscribe and get
click on the bell and you'll get notifications when I make new videos. And other than that, I would say just don't ASMR and drive. All right? Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.